Hey YouTube, Dawson Rider here. Welcome to my review of the Common Rider Zero One Rider Kicks figures. Kind of a nice surprise move. They wound up continuing the line from Geo into this year, so we're going to be able to have more older Rider figures as well as compatible sizes and styles of figures, which I think is pretty neat. And you can tell that based on the box being the exact same style. You know, you have a picture of the Rider right there, of the figure there, advertises on the back like, oh, hey, here's a pose you can get, and then here's a picture of, I think it's Vulcan, yep, it's Vulcan. And so that's neat, you know, very, very much the same as what Geo's packaging was like. And the same thing for the figure style. There's really no significant changes that I can find in the way they do the figures, in which I think these are pretty solid figures, and I like being able to have a semi-cheaper alternative to stuff like figure arts, and now we're going to be able to have a wider variety of ones that will all fit together, especially since we're going to be able to continue older riders, like I said. And I think they did a pretty solid job with Zero Ones. The only thing he comes with is two different sets of hands. You have this one, which is kind of relaxed, and like the pointed pose hands, and then you got a couple holding weapons hands that he had on with him, even though he doesn't come with any weapons, but you kind of have those type of hands, or they could like hold a bike or something. So, But that's the only things you get with him. It would have been nice for him to at least have his saber. Like, I know it's a cheaper figure, but at least one thing, especially since you have a hand that could conceivably be for holding weapons hands. But look-wise, he's pretty solid. He's not the most detailed figure you're ever going to see in the world, but he gets the job done. The primary parts where you notice the lack of details is like around the belt, although I think it's nice that they at least have that because they very easily could have left this color out and it would have really blended in. But I mean, it's an easy job with Zero One because you really only have the two primary colors and you pretty much get those here and so there's no real huge problem. I mean, the backs are always kind of lack for paint, but for the most part, you kind of nail the look of it. These kind of figures are kind of weird because there's like three different scales, I would say, for me personally, where you kind of have bad looking ones, what I would consider to be solid, medium range looking ones, and then ones that look really good. I still can't find my Geo for whatever reason, but here's Gates from last year, and I don't think his looked the greatest. Like, there's so much blank red in the way he was done. He looks far cheaper than, he almost looks like just a candy toy without some stickers on it compared to this. So like, the, it can be very hit and miss with the quality of this line. But I think Zero One makes for a very, very solid figure. Um, same articulation as always, you have a nice joint here, swiveling all around. You have your single elbow joint here, swiveling here, swiveling at the fist. You have a nice all around ball joint on the leg, and you got swiveling there as well. Knee joint there. You got some nice head and neck articulation, as well as some nice waist articulation. I think I've described these and a lot of the gimmick figures for Ryder in general as kind of a midway point between a, like, standard Power Rangers action figure and a figure art in terms of the articulation available. But yeah, there's not too much else to say. I overall think this is a solid figure. It's not going to be the most detailed, but it gets you some solid articulation. It gets you the core of what the Ryder looks like, and I think it's a cheaper alternative. And even though it's not even close to figure arts in some way in terms of the detail. What I think is interesting is that, like recently I feel figure arts have just not felt worth it for the price and they're just kind of harder to get a hold of if you want a lot of them and because of all the exclusives they do and they're just not worth it for the price. So I'm more than happy to have this cheaper alternative where I'm able to get more riders for a cheaper price all on the same scale. So I think if you want a solid, not that expensive zero one figure, this is a solid pick. It's not something I'm like, oh my god, you have to own this right now. It's the must own toy of 2019. But I think if you know what you want, then you'll probably like this. It's a nice alternative if also if you want something posable unlike the vinyl figures, which is basically your only other option at the moment, um, except for stuff like Soto. Anyway, that's about it for this one. Until next time, before I comment, subscribe, and climb the steps, and ring that bell so you get notifications for all my videos. Till next time, Dawson Ryder, signing out.